this is a reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I've done your cards for you already, Capricorn. We're going to do an all about you reading. Uh, we're going to use the. Um, I can never remember the name. Yeah, the Lemon Mart. Lemon Mart. Anyway, we're going to use them. They're oracle cards, but they're, they're really good. And then we'll clarify with normal right away. Okay? So this is for some Moon Rising. If you resonate, drop me a comment. If you like the reading, drop me a comment. Uh, also, like and share and subscribe, and that would be really good. So we'll do three more, and then we'll begin. So I'll talk you through as we go through the capsule. So your first card is the, okay, so your, um, so this is cutting things out, in your soul, in your, inside you, what you really want to do right now is, and it's an 11, so that is, it's normally like a twin flame number, but anyway, we'll go through this, yeah, the whip, it's repetitive, repetitive, Repetition, arguments, punishment, hurry. So, yeah, so this is a repetitive situation. So what you're in at the moment is going over and over and over in cycles. So every time you think you got to the, the beginning, it all starts to happen again. And it's really starting to, to get on your nerves, I should imagine. Yeah, you're revisiting a discussion that supposedly has been put to rest. But then it's brought up again and again and again. And the whip card can be used as a signal, a sign of a can be um a repetitive sexual act as well, according to my book. <laughs> and um it used to be used many, many monks yogs ago as uh, a form of punishment. So somebody could be using that as a punishment against you, like bringing something back, not letting something drop Capricorn, like bringing it back and back and back and back. But it's definitely being used probably not in the right way. What other people are seeing about you is you're not budging Capricorn on this. And I don't know if that's in a good way. Like, yeah, safety, security, works, roots. Whoever this is, whoever this person who's watching you and seeing you, sees you as their anchor. They see you as their, their security. They see you as their, their security blanket. Um, safety, security. The way old ships would drop the anchor in the storm or at bedtime and the anchor would chain and would keep the ship from straying off course. So you are to this person, you are there. Whatever they're doing to you, you are their safety, you are their, you're their security, you're their, you're their everything. Like, if you took you away, they, they drift off. Okay? they just lose it. They'd, yeah, they wouldn't be very good at, like, doing what they do unless you're around. You're reliable. You, maybe you have a reliable income at work. You, um, there's something about you that's very traditional, very very um god stable you know secure you're you're this person's security basically okay then we got this 34 i think that's a fish card this is your secret platform so what you're keeping a secret at the moment is the fish and the fish is money, flow, abundance, gain. So in the centre of this card, we have uh, the koi. The koi is, is worth a lot of money. Um, this fish in the oracle represents money, abundance, well-being and riches, resources that comes to flow. Capricorn, I don't know why this has just come in my head, but it has. Are you putting money away so you like have a security blanket because you kind of see what this person does and how they use you and how they keep on repetitively coming around and whipping you with that and it's like you're putting maybe you're putting money away 
your resources are kind of really flowing into your life. Maybe you've come into money and you're not actually saying anything. Maybe you've got a big pay in and you're keeping that secret. There's something about money and lots of money that you're keeping a secret. You're not saying to anybody for some reason. Yeah, I mean, you haven't got any other cards just yet. You could have money coming in, or and you could be keeping that a secret, or you could have money in your... Then we've got 31, which I think is the sun colour. That's why you're keeping it a secret, so we'll see. It's a sun card, basically, I think. Yeah, which is success, power and happiness. Yeah, the summer solstice. Many pagans attend the celebration of summer solstice at sunrise at Stonehenge, perhaps connecting with those who built the stone circle thousands of years ago. In the scene, the four pagans are standing around among the stones waiting to greet the dawn. Traditionally, this is the Lemonade Sun card. It's one of the happiest cards. It's a sign of victory, success and definite yes card, no matter what your question is. Capricorn. You are keeping money for a rainy day. So if this all goes, if you decide that you don't want to be where you are right now and keep on taking this off this person and still keeping on being there, there whatever, because I really don't think they're being very nice to you. I feel like they're coming around with, with stuff over and over and over again and whipping you <laughs> whipping you again. You know what I mean. On your conscious mind right now, yeah, 22. Yeah, you've got two roads, so decisions, indecisions, choices, options, you've got options around you, Capricorn. And this is on your conscious mind, you've got on your conscious mind, you're, you're picking, you're picking and choosing where you want to do, what you want to go. You've got money that you're putting aside just in case this happens. You are not stupid at all. When this card comes up, you're reading it's very simple. It indicates a decision. Decisions have to be made. Decisions aren't, aren't being made. Decisions that have already been made. It points to where a fork in the road and what choices might lie on either side of the of it. The road is a helpful card that is used to significate a four readings to determine either a solution or look what's on either side of the road. When you've got the sun on your left and also next to that you've also got this. Hmm... There's decisions and choices that are on your mind. What's in your heart? 36. Which is a cross. And a cross means burdens, karma, patterns, religion. Okay, so... I think in your heart you think this person and you are our past lives that you've been lived on this because the cross is it's quite um it's a Celtic cross. It's uh while the large Celtic cross can be centered on this card and representative of the icon. A Celtic cross is often it as in this case a solar cross. That is all four arms at equal length. The circle around it is a symbol of eternity, endless arcs of creation and rebirth that surround the cross itself a sign of burden karma and struggle or on a larger level think in terms of one's cross to bear and it can it, and it is easy to see why this card gets a negative connection more often than not karma is <coughs> karma as it is under this understood by most pagans is a system of checks and balances in the universe that not only work through the circles of reincarnation and life after life, but it can form instant karma as well, where actions you take have consequences. You can see and reap fairly quickly. Karma can be very positive as well. And when this card shows up in a love reading, it can often point to a soulmate or a karmic bond between two partners. However, as anyone who has ever been with their soulmate can assist, attest this is never a guarantee of an easy relationship 
I think you're probably with your person in Capricorn, but I feel like they're really testing you to the point where you're actually doing things that you probably never thought you'd do, like the money. Um, and and keeping secrets about wanting to be happy, keeping secrets about keeping money just in case you need to be happy. And then you've got this decision you have to make, and then you've got that card that comes underneath there in your heart, which is like a soulmate card. Well, now we're getting spooky. In your soul, all is 12. I don't care where I see owls. Owls always, to me, are like psychic. Your psychic, um, whatever your levels, are really high. Like your intuition is like banging, probably. <laughs> banging is probably the wrong word. Yeah, birds. Okay, so the birds mean, oh, but these are owls, so I see this really different, right? This, on this card it says ch chatter, gossip and communication. Okay, so maybe in your soul you know there's chatter about this, you know there's gossip and you know there's communication, but I feel you know about all them because it's owls on them. The birds aren't just any birds, they're owls. So I see it really, really different, like really, like quite spiritually different because owls aren't like a normal bird, I don't think they are anyway. And I'm not seeing people on their phones and chat out. I'm seeing two birds. So you are watching this person like a hawk, Capricorn. You're seeing everything because them birds, they, they're not like the normal ones. That I know some people are saying I'm reading this wrong, but I'm not. It's, it's, you are so connected. You know what this person, you're, you can see what this person is doing. You know what they're doing. In your soul, you know what they're doing. So if you're doing something to a Capricorn, they see everything. <laughs> I'm just going to let you know that. Okay, and this, see there's two. <clears throat> the consequences, that is my gossip card. You've got both the 12 cards. You've got the spooky one. In your soul, you're seeing everything. The conclusion of this is people are talking. People are talking. There is gossip going on. There are people that know information about you and your relationship that you don't know that they know or or you know they know, but you're... I think that you feel that everything... Not you feel, but you... Every, I feel, sorry. Everything that you think... Yeah, look. That's a married woman. That's a... In my eyes, that woman card is a married woman card. There's two cards. There's another one which is, like, I consider, like, the other woman card. But that's you looking through a window. You're looking to see somebody coming home. That's somebody who's... And she's been crying. So it's somebody who's waiting constantly for somebody. Somebody who says they come in and then they don't turn up. Or says they're coming back home and then there's an excuse or there's a reason. There's something about that card. Right. And maybe when they do come back, they cause arguments with you over the same thing that you thought you sorted out a day earlier, but that you obviously didn't. It's like that kind of somebody who's causing problems, causing arguments maybe as well. Right, we'll clarify the, the woman card. Capricorn. So why is Capricorn got this card? For their overall energy? Yeah, fair party. Fucking hell. Sorry, Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, you're watching, waiting, seeing. You're waiting for this person to come home. You're like, uh not very nice. Um, let's cl clarify this whip card. You know, it's, it's in the one just before the gossip card as well. I do think it's funny that you've got that spooky card. It, there was two bad cards. One of them's a, yeah. In your soul, you know, your intuition is absolutely on point. If you if you can haven't proved this yet Capricorn you will really soon this is this is coming to a 
And Jesus Christ, it's going to really hurt this person. Yeah, it's going to cause an ending. God, I can not say that myself. It's going to cause an ending. It's something really long term. Something that's, that as that as that ring card, as that cross card says, this is something that may have gone on for lifetimes. Even this person know each other's souls, you know. Yeah, okay, this is pretty blunt and throw tap card. Right, so we've got this this card here, this whip card. And basically, maybe you've been trying to show this person love, offer this person love. Maybe you've got to a point where you don't even know if they're discontent or bored or don't even want it anymore. Could be an air sign, but it could just be somebody who's really stubborn. Somebody who every time you go towards them, they got like, arms crossed. They don't they only want to hear their truth. They don't want to talk about your stuff. This is someone who's really hard to approach at the moment. Someone really cut off. And it's probably because of juggling. There could even be messages coming in of what juggling has has um has you know made what they do with stalks is coming in as a message. And juggling can be anything, it can be work, but it can be like fair party. And this has been done against a marriage. I would say this person may have been really guarded towards you as well. Maybe they're indecisive, not making decisions. If you want anything, they're not. They can't give you an answer. Not telling you how, not telling you where. But this person thinks of you, Capricorn, as this anchor. You are their security blanket. Like you took that away, that person would just drift off. God knows. <laughs> Let's clarify this one. Yeah. This person almost has a codependency on you with a devil energy. They need to drop these burdens so they can have this happy home life. And this person, they know that. They see that about you. They know that if you disappear, they're deaf food by putting it politely. Like if they, if they push you to the point where you do what, yeah, leave them out in the cold, Pull out your high priestess on them and say, look, this is what I know. These are my secrets. I've got my book. I've got my crystal ball. I'm going to give it to you, mate. This person, that's what they're fearing. They're, they're seeing this in you. They're seeing that you're almost, maybe you're being different with them. Maybe you're not being quite the same. Maybe you're not being quite as loving, quite as yes, sir, no, sir. Quite as, you know, devoted. Maybe there's a little part of you that they can feel that is, isn't quite you. Right, why have we got this? fish card and this is about money abundance this is, this is about you making sure you're okay yeah this is you slightly being guarded like you've been literally bombarded eight times you've got one left one 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 left and you're yeah you're protecting yourself i don't blame you <laughs> yeah being guarded Looking at what you've accumulated, look at what you put in, what they put in, what's worth it, what's not. If it's, you know, if it's equal, this doesn't look very equal. Yeah, making your decision of where you want to go. And this could be with somebody who's older than you, somebody who's maybe got their own business, could be an Aries, could have Aries in their chart. But yeah, this you're keeping secrets from this person about these decisions that you need to make, about how guarded you are. Because maybe this person, probably, this person could be quite arrogant as well sometimes, you know. Um, why have we got this sun card as your, why are you keeping it a secret? And I just got this, you're keeping it a secret, Capricorn, because you, for one, you want this happiness, but you, I feel like you feel like this is falling apart. Because that's my, that's the marriage card, that's the everything happy ever after in reverse. So it's like, it's not that happy. And that's why you're, you're keeping your secret that you're, you're making a bad plan. Yeah, because you're thinking in the back of your mind. Your soul maybe is guiding you. But you need to move away from the situation. Because it's causing you. I don't know why, but I get, yeah, bloody hell. Yeah, you're feeling like you need to walk away from something. You need to walk away and maybe manifest something new. Maybe you manifest something new, have a new beginning with passion somewhere else, or have a new passion. Even by like 
July, August, whenever Sunflowers come out. I feel like it's July, August. Yeah, go towards your wish. It's a little bit of a drunk card there, so maybe just be careful because you might be having one too many. <laughs> this will be, whatever this is there, this isn't an easy thing, this is a, this is, this is a hard thing. Something that's causing you a lot of pain. What's this decision Capricorn has to make? The fork in the road. Yeah, this is being single, this is you going to being single. Holding your own in an Empress energy. And remember, we had the Emperor from the same pack. Look, he's there. And you're there. So he's actually in the secret part where you're keeping keeping things from him right now. And on your conscious mind is yourself. And having an ending. Maybe with somebody you really love. Um, God. And that is your divine person. You don't get higher than Emperor and Empress. Yeah. You don't get higher than Emperor and Empress. Um, yeah, but you need truth. You need truth about something that's caused you heartbreak. And this person, I feel like they know that. They know that you need this truth and they know that you know this truth. <coughs> maybe they're not telling you this truth because they don't know how you react. But maybe now they're seeing you react in any way. Maybe the truth is a better way. What's this heartache for, for Capricorn? Someone's going to come in and offer him, try and offer an apology on a family situation about the three of cups, about three people, about a third party. Could have even been three people. Because there's three girls there. Yeah, someone wants to come in and apologise now, not a cup, that's, that's saying, someone wants to say, sorry, I did wrong, I love you, da da da. Why have we got this cross here? Yeah, this may take you a lot of strength, this may take, because in your heart, this person and you maybe have gone through many, many lifetimes together. have got a strength card here, which is it's card of Leo, but it's also a card of um, having to gain your strength, having to use your mind rather than your, um, yeah, going to your own mode, Capricorn, that's your card, King of Pentacles, that's you having to, yeah, you're looking at that money there, you're looking at that pentacle there, like, Maybe you're <laughs> sitting with your dog working out what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, how this person has treated you and what, what you know, because, yeah, moving away, six of, six of swords. Ending a cycle, this could be like 24 years, this cycle, 14 years, it's a long cycle. The Wheel of Fortune I see is a slightly, um, is that the Wheel of Fortune? No, that's the world. Oh, no, it's the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So that's seven, 14 years. Yeah, bringing down a tower moment. Something ending, something's coming to a close. I feel like you're actually coming in onto somebody you'd consider maybe being in this many lifetimes with, like your soul partner has wronged you, and you know it. And like it says, these relationships, they, it does happen. Could have been a fire sign, but yeah, somebody who's probably gone and and took their, uh, could even be a Leo, someone with Leo in the chart. But yeah, they've they've crossed to me. It could even be an Aries, because King of Wands is my Aries card. But yeah, it's somebody who's not really like, they do what they want when they want. And you don't really ask them any questions, because yeah. They probably don't give you the right answer. They probably go around about the houses to talk about things. And they're very indecisive about what they want to do and what they don't. They feel like you're just pecking at their head. Like it, you would feel like an annoyance, even if it was something the other way around would be perfectly, you know. Could be to do with a water sign. Could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. But yeah, this person, this person knows who you are. They know that you will grow them, you will nurture them, you will look after them. You'll make sure they're okay. 
but this wild card's coming. Here we go, that's what I was talking about after the Wheel of Fortune. Coming out of this hangman. Coming out the other way. This You've had some kind of enlightenment. Yeah, you know what? Well, something's happened. This thing, look at her, look. In reverse. So the other way around, he's not moving forward on it, but she, that information's dropping. It's like falling out of her head, yeah. Starting new things with a new passion. The Ace of Wands is having a... Maybe, I don't know if you're going to actually just like have this out with this person. Because then you've got this bird card in your soul. That means to me you're very, very psychic. You know everything's going on. All these gossips that people are talking about, you know it. To have, it's really auspicious to have that card come out for the other one. Like, in the conclusion, people are going to talk. People always talk, don't they? Think, don't worry about it. Yeah, justice needs to be served. You know that. You know what you see in justice needs to be served. And just because you feel a certain way, maybe you're old school and you don't want your business out or don't know. But yeah, this person needs to say sorry. This person needs to admit what they've done. Or you'll walk away. In your soul, you'll walk away. I feel like your emotions are getting, yeah, sneaky behaviour, running off in the night. Making decisions and moving on them, maybe. And maybe this person, as well as you, is the King of Swords. He's got the birds around him, too. Like, it's like you're seeing, you're seeing everything with this person. Those birds are there in the, in the car in the back, but they're sitting all around him. So you and this person are so connected. You don't need to be with them to know what they're doing. You are with them, you know. Um... Get this king of swords could be an air sign it could be libra gemini or aquarius or somebody with that in their chart as well but i feel like this is a deep connection yeah this person's got you in illusions and lies third party breaking your heart three of swords and other people know about this and i think like that that breaks you a bit more yeah this gossip look this gossip leaves you in the five of cups like crying over spilt milk crying over yeah, this lover's card is, is your person having a choice between two. And I feel like could even be a Leo with that strength card, but it's taking you a lot of strength to have to deal with it. And other people knowing about it. And there's you, Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles, like sitting there. You're guarding your money there now. In the complete, you're not, you're not, I don't know how you're guarding your money, you're putting it away. There's something you're doing with your money. And it could be with, against... A Leo that could be, you know, the other person could be a Leo, or that could be your person has Leo in the chart. But there's a Leo who's shouting, who's talking. Maybe you need to listen. Yeah, temperance. Sagittarius card, but yeah, finding balance. Going off and having a new beginning with six. Six of Wands is victory. It's going off and having recognition, having a reward. Over a situation that you can see anyway. Look at all them snakes and everything all entwined. Everything is all getting messed up. Nobody knows what anything is anymore. And you're watching all of it. So if your person's doing, you've really got they're getting themselves in a pickle. That you can see. Yeah, and then you've got the world card straight after it. Bloody hell. And it's still at the end of it, there's still great big blooming. It's even bigger. Even there's Leo's involved, there's <laughs> Scorpio involved. It's, it was all sorts of messed up stuff. I, I really feel like you were... Uh, yeah. And this is why at the very beginning you had these four cups. You feel like, yeah, it's just no point to this. You're bringing down the tower. I feel like you're going to talk your secrets. We've got the moon there and the high priestess. See, these secrets are all going to come out because it's all going to be said. Because he might, someone's dropping these memories of love here, there and everywhere when they feel like it. But you're, it's being picked up, it's being seen. Someone's going to get left out in the cold. Yeah, and it could be someone from your past life, six pentacles. I don't know why I see that card, but I always see that one as past life. It's like, you've known each other since you were little. Yeah, you're going to get a wish on this card as well as my wish card, the orchard one. Um, 
you might even want to once all this comes out have a new beginning with with stability with this person but i don't feel like you'll forget this fair party and you can heal this you can heal this relationship like she is the star card you, you know you've been totally enlightened you've been totally took up to the stars maybe refresh <laughs> given a new go you could have this family situation back but what you've seen I feel like the Knight of Swords, what you've seen online and this heartache that you've had, you just want this sun back. You just want to feel like, yeah. And you're watching this person, because remember at the beginning here, they had the anchor. You're watching this person probably go and lose a plot, because uh, they're not going to deal with this very well without you being around. Let's get you some shut cards. Perseverance, maybe you persevered a lot with this person, you let them get away, blue murder. Yeah, remember, you've got self worth as well. You need to find joy in your life. I think it might happen by the end of August. Gratitude, maybe. And recovery. And the key's there as well. So maybe you'll, maybe you'll uh, recover your sort of self worth key. I feel like you're going to kick someone's foot up. Yeah, you might travel in the near future, creative expression, your soul longs to express itself, teaching, inspire people by teaching. Environmentally, you're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture and teach about nature. Speaker, your life's purpose involves skills of orientation, talking. Maybe this person slows you down on your path. Maybe you need to break free so you can do what you're meant to be doing while you're here. Because maybe they take it all away from you. Yeah, maybe this person thinks they're king. Priorities. And yoga. Maybe you'll get answers if you do yoga. Yeah, you've got artistic expression. You need to meditate more, Capricorn, and nurture yourself. I don't feel like you probably do look after yourself, like you look after this person. And then we got um, let go of stress. Don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out. And definitely yes. The answer to your question is a strong yes. Don't know how many minutes we've done. Okay, yeah. So we'll get you a soul card, and then I'll leave it there. I feel. You've got beauty. I'm deeply and profoundly beautiful. Passion. I passionately accept and love myself. And pleasure. My life is deliciously joyous. So Capricorn, we'll leave it there. Good luck with that. And take care. Lots of love. Bye.